All right, there we go. Technical difficulties right off the bat. Anyway, like everyone knows here, the title says unboxing. I got an unboxing, toy unboxing from a good buddy, Greg Monroe. And we're going to be taking a look at Reptar Sierra. What's all the hype about this one to come back? So let's take a look at this. And what's up, Chris? Thanks for the heads up there saying you can't hear me. Forgot I had that muted because whenever I play online. <laughs> and uh, you see I'm rocking the new Rick and Morty t-shirt I got. Um, definitely, uh, definitely uh, see how this Reptar cereal is all big hype about. But got a good package from good old buddy Greg Monroe. Good buddy on Facebook. Thank you, dude. You rock. If you're watching this in the future, thank you, man. You rock. Two thumbs up, man. Oh, yeah. So, before we even get to that, how you doing, Chris? Bruh. Yeah, you know it. It's like, ain't no. Nice to have There's Mr. Poopy Bahol. I got him. If you guys checked out my other channel, TransAaron38. I reviewed these figures. Mr. Me Seeks. the wall bird person there's Morty of course and there's Rick and they also come with a piece to build snowball and mech suit which is actually knocking shit over Titanfall Blisk, he fell over. But yeah. You lick and shaved. Cool. Hell yeah. I'm talking about. Oh yeah, you know, Chris. Got some Reptars here to taste test. Monster flavor in every bite. Looks like Fruit Loops. But who knows? Who knows? Oh well. But I got another one in here. Oh. Meh, meh. I'll give you meh, John. Big old meh. A chocolate bar. I bet you buy that, John. If it was a chocolate bar, it said meh on it. Betcha. But yeah, I got a package from Greg Monroe today, which is an awesome guy. Don't forget to check him out. Really cool guy on Facebook. We we'll taste tested some Reptar cereal. I got some milk. Got my bowl on my spoon. Oh yeah. Mech Warrior. <laughs> Not like a mech warrior, but a mech warrior. Like it on the back, back of the Reptar box. This is uh, cut out, cut out the mask of Reptar and become, uh, become Reptar. <laughs> just funny. Yeah, that's, I, I guess that's what old John wanted to do. He just say met and just left my stream. Really, really, dude, really. At least I don't go. Hi here. <laughs> but let's open this bad boy up. Open this sucker up. We'll be opening opening this and John, they didn't have a Rick and Morty shirt your size, big boy. This actually just fits me perfect. Open this sack sucker up. Oh yeah. First figure out of this box is exclusive to Walmart. Autobot Hot Rod. Night Warriors Hot Rod. Very cool. He's a uh, repaint and retool and remold of the Transformers Age of Extinction lockdown so 
So definitely very cool. Let's see him up here. <laughs> okay, Chris. It's fucked up. But anyway, here's the one I was more excited to get. Transformers the last night. Cogman. Took for a while to, to release Cogman. Just looking at him close, he looks very cool looking. Like a rustic paint job on him. I know, puppies in the background there. He's about, what are you doing? <laughs> she just looks up at her like, whoop. You too, wee wee. <laughs> Very cool. But that's it for the packaging, fellas. All right. Set that off to the side. Huh. The same, the same box. It's just different. It says Unite Warriors. Autobots Unite Deluxe Class. Meh. Meh, John. Meh. I start calling you Metatron. Ha! Well, anyway. Very cool. Turns to a Lamborghini, which is pretty badass. pretty cool on him too but anyway let's check out some reptars here before I open these figures out and check them out oh yeah I know right all right looks like fruit loops Let's open it up and check it out, fellas, shall we? Liquid! Smells like Fruit Loops, too. Yo, what's up, Liquid? Hell yeah, man. Grab some milk. Alright. Taste test, shall we, fellas? Fruit Loops. They taste exactly like freaking Fruit Loops. Just has a little bit, man. I bet liquid. I bet your back hurts. Mm. Twelve ninety nine a box for Reptar cereal. Chris, everyone, yeah, which which figure should I open first, Cogman or Hot Rod, for you guys to check out?
Yeah, nice. Nice, John. Alright, let's open this bad boy up, shall we? Oh no, I don't think he comes with instructions. I, I think he's worthless now. Anyway, there's his instructions. Who needs instructions? Yep. There's Hot Rod in his clamshell. In his little box prison. Plastic prison. Let's free him, shall we? There's one. There's two. There's three. I like to try to keep the others on because uh, I like to put them back in the box later. A lot of people think it's weird that way. All right, got him out of the box. He does not come with a weapon, which a lot of people was complaining about, but there's Hot Rod. Very cool. Damn liquid. Alright, that's very neat. Looks like he got the same feet as Lockdown did. Slides out that way, okay. That's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna transform Hot Rod back and transform him into his uh, vehicle mode. Came same concept of lockdown. Bring that down, bring that down. Bring it down there. Yo, what's up? I'm just putting a uh, new Transformers uh, hot rod into his vehicle mode. Just opened. And checking out the new. Uh, Reptar cereal, tasting that. It's pretty good. Said so like Fruit Loops. Slide these together, sections. Mm 
I'm gonna put the back together here. Sharp. Very sharp. I was just taste testing this uh, cereal. It's pretty good. Can't really see hot rod that well. car very nice <clears throat> yeah go check your uh, local FYE it's a it's a FYE exclusive <coughs> Reptar cereal Thanks again to good old buddy Greg Monroe, a very awesome dude. Transformers The Last Night, Autobot Hot Rod. Hey, yeah, at least there, Chris, yeah. And this is only a Walmart exclusive. Unite Warriors Hot Rod. All right, next up is Cogman from the new Transformers movie. I knew they were going to do a Titan Master gimmick with these guys, just like the other Titans Return figures. Just like Hardhead here. You can transform into a head. Which is awesome. They actually did that. I was happy for that. But. Oh, hell yeah. Anyway, yeah. You must, I think you might be new to my channel. I have two channels actually. Trans Aaron 38 is my uh, figure reviewing channel. I do Transformer reviews. I actually reviewed these Rick and Morty figures that I found at GameStop. Uh, you can see it at GameStop. $12.99 a piece. Now this is worth $12.99. It's like, I don't know about Reptar cereal, but you know, I'm paying for the box pretty much. Nostalgia. I, I, I have reviewed all these figures, Rick, Morty, Bird Person, Mr. Meeseeks, and then uh, Mr. Poopy Baho I just showed you. Yep, please like and subscribe. Oh, okay, well thank you. Gotta check out my Ghostbuster special there. Uh, Friday the 13th Ghostbuster special. How a lot of cool friends come over. Well, it's just me and my, me in here, and uh, uh, we were talking about all kinds of crap, just random stuff. It was a big hour, big hour of a hangout. It was pretty cool. I was dressed up as a Ghostbuster, and I had my proton pack. You can probably see my proton pack box right there right there I was dressed up like a Ghostbuster but anyway it's open Cogman and he's an Austin Martin which is pretty cool and he is, he is actually a remold and retool of the Transformers Age of Extinction Bumblebee. Which comes with a sword. Very cool. Alright, let's cut him out of his box. 
Yeah, Saul goes too. Let's come out of his prison, shall we? Let's. Rip his ass on out of here. Alright, we need a sword in there for now. As his Titan Master, I have to cut that little. All right, get that jump down there. All right, there's Cogman. Love the rustic theme on him. Very cool. It looks like a. You can see the very nice details on him. Very cool. And he gets a sword. Oh boy. Oh, very cool. Very nice sword. Actually, got the logo of the the knights on it in the middle. Can't really see it. There we go. There's Cogman. Transforming his vehicle mode. Reptar Serial could have had a little bit more. More of a flavor to it. That being boring. Reptar cereal. Monster flavor in every bite. And transform him. Take the head off. It's pretty cool. Take the head off. Cogman's face. Flip him up. It's a little Titan Master. It's very cool. And his, his face is... He's actually a completely different mold. I thought he was actually... Remote or something. I bet you the Takara version will actually have this whole body silver. I guarantee it. Takara. I, I can't wait to see the Takara version of Cogman. Actually, the, fa the face that's on him right there is actually the face that's on him too. Right here. So, which is pretty cool. So, if you want to, I can grab the Hardheads Titan Master. You actually plug his ass on here and plug his that up up on there <laughs> that's pretty weird you know funny at the same time All right. transform him
Don't need no instructions. That's why it's called Transformers. It's a puzzle. You gotta figure it out. Well, that's pretty cool. Open this chest. There's like little gears and shit in it. Very neat. Give me fellas. It's a puzzle, what do you expect? Here we go. Pretty cool how they did that. Very cool, very clever. everything in. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. I hope the Takara version comes with another Titan Master. It doesn't transform, but make it looks like uh, Sir Edmund Burton here. So I give us a chance here. There is Cogman. Very freaking awesome vehicle. Austin Martin. Very nice. I do believe this is the Austin Martin DB9. I may be wrong. But very freaking awesome. Look at the taillights are painted. Hell yeah. Talking about. And this actually has storage for the sword. There's a little notch on the back of it. crotch gets pegged un undone. I was wondering what was going on there. Because that's actually a spot for the sword. Perfect. Looks it looks like a like, little exhaust on the back. It's pretty nice. So what do you think, Chris? Liquid? 
leftovers in here. Very cool little car. And you can actually put the Titan Master in it, which is actually pretty cool. Make him look like he's driving the car. You just stick them inside the car. You can barely see them, but you stick them inside the car. <laughs> yeah, very cool car. Put Hardhead in here. Hardhead's Titan Master. That's very cool. Very cool how they did that. I love it how they did that. Very freaking awesome. So there you go. There's your uh, Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Hot Rod. Unite Warriors Walmart exclusive. Only at Walmart. And then you got Cogman. DB9 Austin Martin. I do believe it's the DB9. But, you know, Austin Martin. Very freaking cool cars. Thanks again to Greg Monroe. Very awesome guy. So, enjoy the rest of my uh, Reptar cereal here. Very good. That's what, uh, there's the Age of Extinction Bumblebee I was talking about. It's the remold and retool of this to become Cogman. Oh. Uh, who is? Lazy butt. <laughs> what? My little Autobot puppy. No Autobot puppy. Huh. Who's over there? You see the cereal, don't you? <laughs> but yeah, Reptar cereal, it's pretty good. I say it's worth. Yeah, I say it's just worth the packaging. What it is? It's an FYE exclusive, Chris. Become Reptar. Cut your mask out. Just love the nostalgia of this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Been gone. But yeah, there's Reptar cereal. Nobody's going to get to buy strawberry sniggles. This is actually just marshmallows. I just opened it up and looked, Chris. It's actually just freaking marshmallows. It's just marshmallows. <laughs> just freaking marshmallows. But strawberry sniggles. It says crunchy marshmallows, as seen on Rick and Morty. FY exclusive also. Don't forget to check that shit out, fellas. You hear me? Don't forget to check that shit out. But anyway, cut this stream short. Probably going to get on here and play some GTA 5. Depends on what time it is. Where's my damn phone? Yeah.
Yeah, I'll probably hop off here, probably play some GTA 5 maybe. I don't know. I'll probably do a uh, taste test video of uh, Pickle Rick's uh, dark chocolate pickle bar. Chocolate, uh, chocolate, uh, pickle flavored dark chocolate bar and uh, Mr. Me Seek's uh, blue raspberry, uh, exploding Me Seek's blue raspberry chocolate bar, too. Alright, fellas, on 38, good number. I'm going to end this stream. Thanks for watching this wonderful unboxing video and serial taste testing video. I'm just showing these figures off. It's pretty cool. I like as I appreciate uh, Greg Monroe for sending me these figures. And so you got Cog Cogman from Transformers last night, and you got Unite Warriors only Walmart exclusive hot rod. So, so yeah. Reptar cereal, is it worth getting? Get it. Uh, you put put it on the back of your shelf. Those bootios are actually empty back here. Um, bootios was just pretty much like a Lucky Charms. But uh, it's pretty cool. You're just paying for the packaging is what it is. It's $12.99 a box. Also, the strawberry smiggles. I ain't going to do a taste testing video. It's just marshmallows. So, I'll probably add, add some marshmallows to... To, uh, Reptar cereal. So, thanks again, everyone, for stopping by. Don't forget to check out Liquid Cool. Yeah, right there. Liquid Cool 360. He also has Liquid Cool 440. Don't forget to check Chris stuff out. Uh, Prime Meh One. I mean Prime John One. Don't forget to check his channel out. And uh, don't forget to check out Web Junior 1977, uh, Game Dungeon Productions, Doctor Jekyll, Ron Mexico, The Nerdy Effect. Um. And uh, Game Dungeon Productions. Don't forget to check their their links out. They'll be down in the description down below whenever this uploads. So, now say, fellas. Yeah, you're welcome, Liquid. You know it. Um. So don't forget to check out uh, Web Junior 1977. He's an awesome guy, and uh, he just got a, got a did a giveaway. And he, uh, Liquid Cool 360 or Liquid Cool 440, one of the channels, won Web Junior's prize. So keep a lookout for Liquid Cool's uh, unboxing video when he gets it. So hopefully, hopefully he does something like that. It would be pretty cool. And, uh, <clears throat> oh, I want to show you guys something else before I go. This is next year's Green Castle Toy and Collectible Show that we will be going to. That me web prime John one uh, Green Castle's uh, toy and collectible show. It's actually Morgansville's toy and collect collectible show, but they're actually moving to a bigger building and it's gonna have more freaking tables. And uh, hopefully they calm the hell down on Matchbox cars. Holy shit! But enough said. What could you do, guys? What could you do? But uh. Like I said, guys, if you guys missed my uh, Ghostbusters stream on uh, Friday night, Friday the 13th Ghostbusters special, go on down there and check that video out, and uh, and uh, have some have some chuckles and some laughs there, and uh, all that good stuff. But uh, like I said, this is Smoke Screen 38 and Trans Aaron 38 here. Don't forget to rate and subscribe, comment on any videos I do, and keep a lookout for new videos headed your way. And also, follow me on Instagram and follow me on my Facebook page, Trans Aaron 38 Cybertron Pit Stop. I can always add you if you collect Transformers, just not just for Transformers, it's all kinds of action figures. So, don't forget to check all that stuff out. And, uh, enough said, guys. Don't forget to keep a lookout for these reviews, these toy reviews I just showed you guys on this stream on my Trans Aaron 38 channel. So, don't forget to check them out. Till next time, fellas. This is Smokescreen38 and Transair38. See ya. And I'll probably be playing some GTA 5 here with uh, Prime John 1 or uh, 
Michael Cool 360 depends on what he's doing. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Prime John One. He'll probably go live, play some Grand Theft Auto Five with some friends. It will be his title of his video probably. And uh, I ain't going to stream because I just did a stream here. So, now said guys, this is Spencer Screen 38 talking again, and I'm Rick and Morty in out of here. Where's my portal gun? Later.